Mm-hmm. 
don't have to use the scraper. It just comes off. A little bit of gentle fingernail scraping. So, thank goodness for that. But it, yeah, it was an utter waste of time painting these frames because uh, the acrylic just doesn't take it. It comes in handy, but I refuse to do it because I'm too lazy. Oh wow, this is good, but it might be too wide for any of the kitchen walls. But it's nice and narrow. Yes, and it's got the lovely blue in it that will kind of tie in with the kitchen units and the black frame and the cream walls. Oh my goodness! Yeah, let's see. Please fit. Oh, look at that. This wall. It will fit here. Yeah? This wall with the cupboards, it'll fit there. Nicely. Very nicely. Maybe over the peg. Maybe over the shaker pegs. It's these genuinely old and lovely picture frames kind of show up the IKEA frames too much, and I'm not sure I can mix them up really. Um, and painting the IKEA frames didn't work out either, as I've as I've mentioned. So. Um, just finishing unwrapping the last of my. Antique finds. These were from Facebook Marketplace and £12, would you believe it? They were so lovely and she'd wrapped them up so nicely in this little this little bag which I kind of want to keep. I'll put pegs in or something. I've yet to look at the artist, TJS, but it's um, apparently a summer and winter view of the same landscape and, well, I just thought the dark red frames would go beautifully with some of the kind of maroon and brown colours in the kitchen. This is from Etsy. This is a folk, and actually I think it really is genuinely um, a folk work carving. A little wooden picture. Um, this is from eBay. 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 And these two empty frames are from, from eBay. some pictures from Etsy to print to go go in these but printing them is proving a bit of a problem at the moment because it's so expensive I didn't realize for instance for this frame here we're looking at about at least 40 pounds for just to print the the picture inside
close so you see all these nice shades in here. Hopefully the camera is picking up more than in real life. In real life this is pretty just black. Nothing to see. Definitely more successful than others. So this one's turned out all right. Maybe there's, there's not too much black. The colours are duller. They're, they're not as vibrant as the original. So I'm now going to see if I can, what configuration I'll manage with these pictures. And there are a few other things to go on the wall as well. There is some copper. It's like a copper small. It looks like a tiny bed warmer. Um, so I'm trying, I don't know if this plate is too wide to fit in there, mm, I think it might be a bit, I'm having trouble fitting the plate in, ideally I want it, oh sugar, I just I want this plate facing you as you look into the kitchen from this angle because um, it's one of the fewer black and white things I have and I need to kind of accentuate that, but there are obviously very few walls. Um, facing you. Well, none really. Um, there's no room either side of the mirror above the sink, so I could possibly put it above the fridge. Um, I'm trying to get... There are three main types of picture I've got. I've got sort of gold frames, I've got black and white things like that plate, and I've got coppery things like that copper, well, as I said, it looks like a tiny bed warmer. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, and browny things like that. So we've got, well, actually, we've got black as well. Okay, so we've got four. We've got black things. No, no. We've got black and whitish kind of things like the plate and these. We've got gold things like these pictures. And we've got burnished coppery brown things. Now, I'm trying to get one 
each of those three things on each wall to tie it all together. Maybe I'm worrying too much. I'm probably worrying a bit much. Um, this gap here looks a bit empty. I, I don't know what I can put there, and so I thought I might put a picture there. Uh, so that would take care of the gold on that side of the room. Um, it's possible I could put this black and white plate here above the stool. And then... Details above it, but it's not. No, it looks a bit weird, I think. Um, and basically, I've sort of decided uh, one this gold picture here that takes care of the gold on, in that corner, and one almost similar sized gold picture here. So there's the gold there. I'm saving these three little pictures here in case I need to fill up spaces when I put big pictures above here. Um, but, but, um, yes, what I do have to be aware of is this door is opened quite a lot and it co covers quite a lot of the wall, so I can't have anything too chunky behind it. And I was thinking possibly I could put all of the IKEA frames on this wall, like make a gallery wall of them and not mix them up with the really nice frames like this so that it's not so obvious that they're kind of cheap, plasticky frames. And also they're quite thin, and so maybe they wouldn't get in the way of the door opening too much. I'll just check, um, because the handle brings the door out a little bit. Oh no, I think the door is still... I'm sorry about the terrible camera work. Um, I'm always trying to fit filming in when my partner's out, because he works from home. And I just never have time to set up the tripod and keep moving it around and do a proper YouTube video. So this is really the roughest type of YouTube videos you'll see. Um, so will that door, can it, it's okay, I think it's sort of okay, I think they just fit behind it, so I could do a gallery wall of those. I like the idea of breaking up this very, um, this very kind of, um, discreet and boring plane of the mirror with lots of other little mirrors around it. Well, a, a few, a couple, one or two maybe. So I could put this here and then I could also put above it um, the little folk thing and then I'd have something brown on this wall. I could even possibly put it here. So I'm going to leave those two there. Um, so we've got brown, kind of black and white, because that, that mirror is reflecting a lot of white, but it's got a black frame, and then we've got gold. Um, I don't think I can put anything on here, let's be sensible for once. So, um, I've decided to put the copper things here, there's one gold picture here, as I said, one gold picture here. I'm leaving these two to help me out when I put the big pictures above the fridge, which I'm going to do now. I've decided to put the cheap Ikea things here. If I really dislike them, I can always take them down. Um, so I'm going to put the big pictures that possibly will go above the fridge here. We've got four big frames, one empty at the moment, and this blinking plate, which <laughs> I don't know what to do with. Okay, so now I'm going to see what configuration I can come up with on the this facing wall, and, and I have to cover a PowerPoint I mean, two plug sockets, a fan that's uh, covered with paper, and I also have this wall above the fridge here. Um, this, the other big pictures that are going to be, um, the other big pictures in the plate that are going to be facing us as we look into the room here, um, here and here, help me decide what to put in that empty frame because we've got some black and white with the plate, and we've got some green in this forest canvas. So, hmm, I feel we need some more monochrome black and white. And possibly, we've even got the blue of the cupboards in this C picture, so I don't have to worry about tying the, d the dark blue black in. We possibly need some brown. 
So now I'm just going to take a look again at the pictures I've downloaded. I'm watching uh, Mossy, Mossy Bottom on YouTube. It's a really good YouTube channel. So let's just check out my prints. They're from a company called um, North Prints on Etsy, and they have the, which has the most beautiful, um, I, I really don't know if they're genuinely old and authentic or not. So these are the ones I paid for to, and bought. Uh, the first is a gallery of five, and it would be kind of nice to keep that together, so that's not going to work above the fridge because there's not space for five. So the first of the five is this lane. Then we've got a white flower, which is very popular, and you may have seen in lots of other people's homes. We've got a lake and mountains, we've got a pencil drawing of a branch, and we've got a rust-coloured jug. But I guess I could use one of these to go above the fridge if I thought we needed the colours. I mean, the rust-coloured jug would be good. But I do feel it'd be nice in a smaller version, um, either side, one on, in one of these sort of columns here. I think it feels like a smaller picture, possibly this side, and it would tie in nicely with the, the brown eggs. So, not the jug. Um, no, no, that, do, that doesn't merit going in that lovely big frame there, that pencil drawing. We want a nice oil painting. Um, no, not special enough. No, no, it, that looks, feels to me like a smaller frame. Um, and no, not special enough. Now we've got this. Now, this is so perfect for my kitchen. Would that look good in that big black ornate frame? That big gold ornate frame there? Yes, it would. It would really tie in the black and white theme amazingly. So that's a strong contender. Um, oh, I forgot, I've also got two Ikea frames. Um, this is from the bargain section and I had to mend the corners with no more nails because they were coming apart. This is a wooden frame, not very pretty, but it's okay. And for, I think, nine pounds, you can't really go wrong at this size. And where they're 40 by 50 centimeters, look, these frames. And another black plastic frame, exactly the same type of frame as um, in these gallery of pictures here. And again, that's 40 by 50. So yes, I could put a black frame above the fridge, I guess, because we don't have a black, oh, we do have a black frame. Okay, then that won't look great be and because that's a nice old wooden black frame. So I certainly can't put the cheap plastic Ikea frame next to it. It will throw it into unsympathetic relief, but I could possibly put this chunky black wooden Ikea frame there, but again, it's very modern, but it's a possibility, okay? In any case, in terms of the picture, um, so we've definitely got this as a contender, which is strong black and white. Um, this tiny landscape, I feel, goes so well with this portrait, and they, they, I bought them as a pair. So I feel this portrait is going to go in that gold frame there, and so I'll probably put this picture, little picture, with it somehow, either propped on the countertop or on the tiles at the side. So they're not contenders either. Um, then we've got this absolutely stunning landscape, which feels to me like a Czech, um, like the Ukraine or Russia, and, and oh, it, it's sort of echoing, reverberating. It's so atmospheric to me.
I've actually bought so much stuff, I don't know, or rather, I don't, rem well, I don't know what this is, and I don't remember buying it. Did I have some momentary brain freeze or lapsed or manic episode? I had to look up this word on the IKEA website. I've apparently purchased a vertical clothes hanger. Oh my goodness.
main challenge is to hide that ugly fan at the top and to not overcrowd it, which I tend to do, and also to highlight some black and white or monochrome pieces to tie in with some other parts of the kitchen, you know, the black and white. Uh,
as I wander on by the evening shade to watch the shadows play. Then I live to the call of the whippoorwill as he sings his evening lay. All is whippoorwill to his song, whippoorwill as it floats, whippoorwill, hey long, whippoorwill, so brave, whippoorwill, and great, whippoorwill, as he sings, Quick. 